The Camrui JK06 is a silent mini PC that asks, are you okay with lower performance for a lower max CPU temp? This one is clearly marketed as a home office web browsing PC, and for that purpose, it's okay. But then again, so are nearly all the budget mini PCs I've reviewed this year. In the box is the mini PC, a pair of magnetic vertical stand covers, HDMI cable, and power supply. This is one of the very few minis that doesn't come with a monitor mount. I prefer a vertical stand, but couldn't hurt to have both. Pop a cover on each side, and you're done. Simple to put together, and holds nicely. It definitely doesn't look cool, but it makes up for it in functionality. You might have noticed this mini is larger than the average NUC, let alone the Melee Quieter 3. In fact, it's larger than all the fanless mini PCs I've tested. The Camry is a silent PC with an Intel Celeron N5100, which is a 10 watt quad core CPU. But it's been power limited to 6 watts for lower heat and power consumption, which also means lower performance. There's 8GB of dual channel LPDDR4 soldered RAM running at the max speed for this CPU. You can add a 2.5 inch SATA drive by opening it up. Each unit comes with a 256GB M.2 SATA SSD which requires a bit more disassembly to gain access to. Ports are dual USB 3 and a USB-C. These are all standard USB 3.05 gigabit. There's also a micro SD card reader, which is always a nice bonus. On the back, you'll find a VGA port. Someone will be happy about that. I'm not. You can get a HDMI to VGA adapter, but you can't do the opposite. There's a HDMI 2.0 port, gigabit LAN, and dual USB 2. Windows 11 Pro is pre-installed, but I booted up Ubuntu with no issues, and the same with Chrome OS Flex. Wi-Fi and audio, all good. Okay, let's see how the 6W CPU inside performs against every silent mini PC I've reviewed so far. In single core, the Camrui beats the Mini's Forum GK50 score by almost 5% to take second last place. But in multi-core, the Camry drops to last place with a 17% drop in performance. Surprisingly, the cooling on the Camry's VRM isn't enough to keep the 6 watts of power going. It hovers around 4.7 watts in Cinebench. On a cold boot, Cinebench can hit the 600 mark in multi-core, but that quickly goes down as the unit heats up, and the temperature of the PC stays up near the max temp, even for basic tasks. Heat dissipation on this unit is slow. While the max CPU temp is low compared to the other fanless minis, the system itself isn't able to keep up the power delivery to the CPU, and performance suffers as a result. Encoding a video also put the Camrui in last place, with it being almost 20% behind the GK50. So I tried messing around with the power settings in the BIOS by changing the power limit to 10 watts, and while it updated in Windows, it never went past 6 watts. And even that, it doesn't manage to hit very often. The Camry beats the Mini's forum in graphics for DX11 and DX12. This checks out when I tested a PC game. The Camry had a locked 60fps in TMNT Shredder's Revenge, but the Mini's forum did not. Cowabunga dudes! The included M.2 SATA SSD is pretty good speed-wise, and a lot faster than what you'll find on the Melee Quieter 3. As a media player, the Camry JK06 does a pretty good job. A 4K movie in VLC played without any frame drops. All silent minis, apart from the Mini's Forum GK50, manage to do that without dropping a frame. When it comes to streaming YouTube, 36 frames out of 10,000 were dropped at 4K 60fps, 35 at 1440p 60, and 16 at 1080p 60. Not a bad result for high-end video streaming, and not far off the others. So it's a decent media player. PC gaming, not so much. Max CPU temp has the Camry with the best result, but this doesn't tell the full story. Personally, I'm not worried about any of these CPU temps. They have an operating temperature of 100C and should withstand that no problem over its lifespan. What's more important to me is performance, and all these fanless budget mini PCs are either throttling power limiting, or not turbo boosting the CPU. This results in worse performance than a mini PC with a fan with the same CPU. 
The Camry JK06 isn't even hitting 6 watts most of the time, yet it still manages to edge out the Mini's Forum GK50's older Pentium in single core and graphics benchmarks. But this image in the description needs to go. That's very misleading and shows the Cinebench score for a properly cooled 10 watt N5100 like the Trigkey G3 Green I reviewed previously. As expected, max power consumption has dropped a little bit. The price of the Camry Mini is almost the same as the Mealy Quieter 3Q, which makes this one a very hard sell. But the Quieter 3 has downsides as well, much slower EMMC storage and single channel memory, but still much faster performance and smaller form factor. Fanless PCs are the future, but there still is a lot of work to be done on the cooling side, and overall, the Camry fails to live up to its 6 watt promise. As always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this mini PC. I've now reviewed 11 budget mini PCs this year, and I've got a top 5 video coming up. Each mini is awarded its place based on scores from a bunch of metrics. Well, that's all for this one. I'll see you later. Cheers!